Following the recent sell-offs of the most valuable EV automaker, Tesla has come forth with a brilliant plan. The company board of directors has moved to execute a three-for-one split for the company's common stock. The move will make the ownership of Tesla stock more available for both employees and investors alike. Stay tuned and watch as we take a look at what Tesla's latest plan is. We have all the details regarding what stock splitting is, why the company is going forth with the stock split, and much more in today's video. Stay tuned. Tesla announced that it plans to execute a three-for-one stock split sometime after its shareholder meeting on August 4th. Its last stock split, which occurred in August 2020, made shares more affordable for young and retail investors after the automaker's stock price has ballooned to $2,213.40. But the company's proposed purpose for the three-for-one stock split is slightly different and is more focused on the employees. According to Tesla's 14A filing with the SEC, Tesla said its next stock split would help reset the market price of our common stock so that our employees will have more flexibility in managing their equity, all of which, in our view, may help maximize stockholder value. In addition, as retail investors have expressed a high level of interest in investing in our stock, we believe the stock split will also make our common stock more accessible to our retail shareholders. Tesla is amongst the most attractive places to work due to its employee equity programs, which include the Employee Stock Purchase Plan, ESPP. This allows Tesla employees to purchase shares of the company's stock at a discounted price. Tesla knows its benefits packages are a great way to attract high-end talent for its programs, and a stock split was undoubtedly one way it could rejuvenate the benefit package. Our success depends on attracting and retaining excellent talent, not only through providing a respectful, safe, inclusive, and equitable workplace, but also through offering outstanding benefits and highly competitive compensation packages. Unlike other manufacturers, we offer every employee the option of receiving equity, Tesla said. Since our stock split in August 2020 to June 6, 2022, our stock price has risen 43.5%. While this value appreciation has led to our employees benefiting enormously through the years, we want to make sure all employees, no matter when they join, have access to the same advantages. We believe the stock split would help reset the market price of our common stock so that our employees will have more flexibility in managing their equity, all of which in our view may help maximize stockholder value. Retail investors shouldn't fret, however. Tesla still kept them in mind when announcing the three-for-one split. In addition, as retail investors have expressed a high level of interest in investing in our stock, we believe the stock split will also make our common stock more accessible to our retail shareholders, Tesla said in the filing. Interestingly, Tesla also stated as a part of Proposal 4 for the shareholders' meeting that it would like to increase the number of authorized shares of common stock by $4 billion. Our certificate of incorporation currently authorizes us to issue 2 billion 100 million shares consisting of 2 billion shares of common stock, par value $0.001 per share, and 100 million shares of preferred stock, par value $0.001 per share, the company wrote. The authorized shares amendment provides for an increase in the number of authorized shares of Tesla's common stock from 2 billion shares to 6 billion shares. The authorized shares amendment would not change the total number of authorized shares of preferred stock. We are submitting to our stockholders a vote to adopt the inclusion of certain provisions in the proposed amended certificate to increase the number of authorized shares of common stock by 4 billion shares, Tesla said. Tesla stock may be feeling some pressure on Monday's intraday but the electric vehicle maker actually received a rather optimistic outlook from RBC Capital Markets. In recent comments, analyst Joseph Spack raised his rating for Tesla from perform to outperform, though he lowered his price target from $1,175 to $1,100 per share. It's not only Tesla that's seeing some pressure today. The broader markets also seem poised to fall sharply over fears related to inflation and the possibility of a recession. Tesla stock, for its part, has declined over 30% this year amid current pandemic-related challenges in China and Elon Musk's effort to acquire social media platform Twitter. According to RBC Capital Markets analyst Joseph Spack, however, Tesla's second-quarter margins could surprise, as investors are already primed for lower delivery figures. So far, analysts polled by FactSet are expecting Tesla to deliver about 287,000 vehicles in Q2 2022. That's quite a bit lower than the company's results in the first quarter when Tesla delivered over 310,000 vehicles from January to March 2022. SPAC's comments are as follows. Near-term setup seems favorable. Visible Alpha 2Q22 consensus delivery forecast is 279k units, though we believe the buy side expects a 250k print effectively in line with our new 249k forecast. 
With investors primed for lower deliveries, we believe two Q22 margins can surprise to upside one Q2022 auto GMX credits was 30% and walking QQ lower volume, higher depreciation way but pricing can offset CR walk inside. We forecast two Q22 auto GMX credits at 28.6, visible alpha consensus two Q22 auto gross margin, X credits at 26.4%, but that's also built on that 279K unit forecast, which is likely to come down. So we see the potential for low margin expectations and hence a margin beat. Looking ahead, we are positive as well for 3Q2022 RBC is at 396K deliveries versus consensus at 378K and we see 2H22 auto gross margins up 30 as Shanghai gets back to pace, Berlin and Texas ramp and pricing gains continue. The analyst noted RBC credited Tesla's efforts to secure critical materials that it would need to ramp its operations to a significant scale. The firm also cited Elon Musk's master plan part three, which seemed focused on scaling Tesla to such a degree that it could have a notable effect on the world as a whole. Tesla's early focus on vertical integration, not just batteries, raw materials, but also motors, semis and software is likely to pay off, especially as industry supply of critical materials may become an issue in 2027 and 28, and Tesla may be able to control more of their own destiny. Indeed, it appears Elon's master plan part three is likely to focus on achieving very large scale to shift the transportation energy infrastructure. Tesla earnings and cash generation over the coming years, in addition to their ability to use their stock as currency, can help them build out and secure materials, giving them a strong competitive advantage. RBC noted Tesla battled extensive shutdowns as its most productive manufacturing plant, Gigafactory Shanghai, earlier this quarter, which will require an extra push of effort from employees as Q2 comes to a close. 2022's second quarter was anything but normal for most automakers, Tesla included. While the industry as a whole continues to struggle with supply chain issues and material shortages, Tesla felt the effect slightly harder than other car companies. Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai facility was closed for three weeks in April due to a widespread lockdown in China after a spike in cases. Tesla reported a 97.7% decrease in production from March to April due to the shutdown. Tesla sold 65,814 units in March and just 1,512 units in April as lockdowns kept the factory dormant for three weeks. Now that Shanghai has returned to full operating capacity, Musk is pushing for the company's workers to dig a little deeper with just 17 days left in Q2. Musk said the Fremont factory achieved an all-time record production day recently and Berlin made nearly a thousand units last week. Shanghai is returning to full strength and Austin is spooling up onward to victory, Musk said in the email. The employment situation at Tesla has required Musk to eliminate work from home positions as a company-wide email that followed a communication to only company executives said Workers will be required to spend 40 hours per week at their local Tesla branch. Everyone at Tesla is required to spend a minimum of 40 hours in the office per week. Moreover, the office must be where your actual colleagues are located, not some remote pseudo office. If you don't show up, we'll assume you've resigned," Musk said in an email to all Tesla employees on June 1st. The sudden push for in-office work may have something to do with Tesla's somewhat regularly planned end-of-quarter delivery and production blitzes which require an all-hands-on-deck attitude to accomplish. Musk has even joined production lines to assist Tesla in maintaining manufacturing growth, and Musk more than certainly knows that the automaker's streak of nine consecutive quarters of growth and deliveries is in jeopardy following Shanghai shutdown. This makes sense, since Tesla shares are also poised for a lot of growth over the next few years, we can't think of another company as well positioned to take advantage of the trillion-dollar markets opening up in the areas of BEVs, renewable energy, batteries, distributed power, self-driving robotics, insurance, making the stock more accessible seems like a no-brainer really. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. One, thank